the wind velocity. An airplane pilot sets a compass course due west and maintains an airspeed of 220 km per hour. After flying for 0.5 hours, she finds herself over a town 120 km west and 20 km south of her starting point. Part A. Find the wind velocity, magnitude and direction. Part B. If the wind velocity is 40 km per hour due south, in what direction should the pilot set her course to travel due west? Use the same airspeed of 220 km per hour. Okay, so uh, we have a compass that's uh, due, it's, it's set due west and uh, basically uh, the airplane uh, pilot sees that there's an airspeed of 220 km per hour <coughs> and uh, we find ourselves uh, 20 kilometers south of the starting point uh, after flying for half an hour. Okay, so uh, let's find the x component of the velocity. So we have a velocity that we have set and then we have uh, the wind velocity x component uh, that is opposing our uh, motion. So you see uh, it was uh, due west, so our set velocity was uh, due west and uh, because we find ourselves over a town 100 km, 120 km west and 20 km south of the starting point, uh, that means um, we basically have uh, traveled a less distance than we should have. Uh, so um, due west. So so we, we can see that the x component of the velocity is set velocity minus the uh, x component of the wind velocity. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if the, if you put it this way or that way. It it will come out negative. Uh, then we can find the correct direction. Okay. So our uh, velocity x component is the wind velocity uh, x component minus uh, 220 in i hat direction so because the set velocity is in minus 220 i hat direction the wind velocity has an x component in plus i hat direction according to my setup so the distance traveled displacement on the x-axis delta x is integral from zero to time of flight, uh, the x component of velocity uh, dt, this is the integral from zero to time of flight, uh, the wind velocity x component minus 220 dt. Okay, <clears throat> so if I calculate this displacement on the x-axis, delta x, this is a velocity of the wind x component minus 220 times time of flight. So the time of flight uh, is basically 0 0.5 hours. 0 0.500 hours. So uh, this is going to be... Uh, the velocity of the wind x component minus uh, 220 times uh, 0 0.5 and the displacement on the x-axis uh, you can see that we have ended up 120 kilometers west uh, so it's going to be minus 120 minus 120 i hat is the displacement so uh, the velocity of the wind x component turns out to be uh, minus two uh, so it's going to be uh, if i divide this uh, by uh, 0 0.5 Let's see here, I will obtain 
a minus uh, 240 and then plus 220 if I take it to the right hand side so 1 over 2, 2 multiplies minus 120 becomes minus 240 taking minus 220 to the right hand side I find minus as you can see 20 kilometers per hour okay so this is the x component of the wind uh, and so therefore I didn't set this up correctly it, it was actually uh, not in this direction but probably in this direction okay <clears throat> so uh, the velocity of the wind uh, the velocity of the y, y component uh, because I didn't have a set velocity in the x component the set velocity was in the west direction uh, is just due to the wind so it's just the velocity of the a wind y component in j hat direction the displacement on the y axis delta y during the course of time of flight zero to time of flight vy dt uh, this is going to be integral from zero to time of flight v omega y dt and this is v omega y time of flight so that is 0 0.5 times the velocity of the wind y component and what is the displacement on the y axis it is 20 kilometers south of the starting point so it is minus 20 is the displacement so therefore I find that the uh, velocity of the wind y component is uh, minus 40 kilometers per hour okay so I have found the X and Y components of the uh, velocity of the wind so you can see I have minus 40 and minus 20 so this is how it will look so I have started with this assumption but actually turned out to be pointing in this way minus 20 and minus 40 are the components okay uh, so therefore uh, we can basically find out the magnitude because in part a we wanted to find the magnitude and direction of the wind velocity the magnitude of the wind velocity is a square root of its x component squared plus its y component squared so this will be um, 20 squared plus 40 squared square root and that gives us 44.7 kilometers per hour so this is the magnitude now on the other hand uh, looking at my plot here you can see uh, minus 20 and minus 40 basically I get an angle theta with respect to the minus uh, x-axis so uh, the velocity vector written as a vector uh, is basically minus 20 I had minus 20.0 i hat minus 40.0 j hat in kilometers per hour then i can calculate the tangent of this angle theta here on my plot tangent theta is basically 40 divided by 20 so that is 2 and if you take tangent inverse of 2 you obtain theta is equal to 63.4 degrees so how do I report the uh, direction of the wind uh, it is 63.4 degrees south of the west direction okay so it's pointing 63.4 degrees south of the west direction okay 
so basically I have found in which direction the velocity uh, of the wind points. Now let's move on to part B. In part B, uh, the wind velocity is 40 km per hour due south. So it is given. I want to know the direction the pilot should set in order to travel due west. And the same airspeed of the uh, plane is 220 km per hour. So I'm given also the magnitude. So as you can see the wind is in the south direction and I have to set a certain direction with respect to west for the set velocity so that I will end up going uh, in the west direction. Okay, so the set velocity uh, y component will be equal to the magnitude of the velocity of the wind. Why? I, I require that so that uh, the net velocity will be due west. Okay, so therefore I know that the set velocity y component already has to be 40 kilometers per hour and the set velocity magnitude uh, squared is equal to its x component squared plus its y component uh, squared square root so I basically find that the set velocity x component is a square root of uh, v set squared, well I know it's uh, the airplane speed is 220, 220 square minus its y component squared, so it's 40 squared and this uh, turns out to be 216. Now is it plus 216 or minus 216? Well as you can see it has to be pointing uh, in the a northwest direction so I need to have a negative uh, component here so it's going to be minus 216 uh, kilometers per hour so I'm careful about the sign of the uh, set velocity so uh, x component so tangent theta so on this uh, plot here so I have minus 216 and I have plus 40 and I want to calculate this angle theta with respect to the west direction. It is the y component of the west, uh, y component of the set velocity divided by x component of the velocity, that's tangent theta. So this is basically 40 divided by uh, square root 220 squared minus 40 squared. And that gives me an angle of theta 10.5 degrees. So I come to the conclusion she should set the direction as 10.5 degrees north of west okay so if we set the direction 10.5 degrees north of west we will end up traveling due west and because the y component of our velocity will be cancelling the wind velocity Okay, so let's summarize what we did here. Uh, there is an airplane pilot at a constant speed, 220 kilometers per hour, and uh, flying after 0.5 hours, we find that we have traveled 120 kilometers west and 20 kilometers south of the starting point. And the initial uh, set velocity was due west. What is the wind velocity, magnitude and direction? So I said, okay, the set velocity is due west, so it's in minus I hat direction. The wind velocity direction, I wasn't quite sure, so I said, well, let's have it uh, in the 
basically southeast direction pointing like this making an angle theta with respect to the horizontal so with this setup the net velocity x component becomes set velocity minus the wind velocity x component and the total displacement is vx of t dt integral from zero to time of flight where time of flight is 0.5 hours when we do this, we find that the velocity of the wind x component is minus 20 km per hour. So it wasn't pointing in this direction, but maybe it was pointing in this direction. Then <clears throat> the y component uh, is, is basically just due to the wind because I don't have any y component in the set velocity. So the delta y is integral 0 to t time of flight vy dt. And what is the delta y? Our starting point is 0, ending point is 20 km south, so it is minus 20. Uh, so setting this equal to 0 0.5 times v omega y equals minus 20, I find that the wind velocity has a y component, uh, uh, minus 40 km per hour in j hat direction. So therefore it's right. So I find that this really uh, was not the right direction to uh, start with the correct direction is pointing here okay so uh, and that's ex exactly what I have plotted here the wind points in this direction with minus 20 and minus 40 components in the Vy versus Vx plot and uh, knowing the x and y components, all I have to do is take the square root of x component squared plus y component squared to find the magnitude. And if I label this angle theta, I can look at the tangent of the angle. It's 40 over 20. Take the tangent inverse. I evaluate the angle to be 63.4 degrees. So I report the direction 63.4 degrees south of the west direction. In part b, the wind velocity, magnitude and direction is known, 40 km per hour due south. The same airspeed is given, but I, I want to travel due west. To travel due west, I need to have a y component of the set velocity that cancels the wind velocity. So uh, the y component of the set velocity is 40 because I know the magnitude of this vector. It is square root of x component square plus y component square. From this, I find the set velocity x component is 260 km per hour. But in order to indicate the direction here, I put a minus sign because it has to be pointing in this direction to get a net velocity in the west, in the west direction. So tangent theta becomes basically set velocity y component divided by set velocity x component. So it is 40 divided by uh, set velocity x component magnitude. So theta turns out to be 10.5 degrees. So we find that the direction should be 10.5 degrees north of west. So just to uh, make sure that I've done this correctly, this is actually the magnitude of uh, the set velocity y component divided by set velocity x component. <clears throat>